Hi, it's Ruth here from English Test Help. I'm here to help you pass IELTS or any English language test. This is a common scene in IELTS Task 1. You have to report and describe the main features of three pie charts. Let's read it together. The three pie charts below show the changes in annual spending by a particular UK school in 1981, 1991 and 2001. And this part of the instruction is always the same. You have to select, you have to report, and you have to make comparisons between the features of the pie charts. Or sometimes it's a table or a line graph or a diagram. In this case, it's three pie charts. So don't panic. Just follow the steps in my blog post at englishtesthelp.online. And firstly, think about the years. There are 20 years from 1981 to 2001. Then count the colours, count the categories. One, two, three, four, five. There are five categories of five categories of spending. Focus on this word, annual spending. Next, you want to think about the biggest and the smallest. Look for the most obvious, the most significant features. So you can see the darker blue one is the biggest in most years. The light blue one is the smallest in the first two years, but by 2001, the green one, the resources, is the smallest. So remember that. Think about when. Think about how many categories. Think about what is the biggest, what is the smallest. And also think about who. This is one school in the United Kingdom. All right, are you ready? Now, please read with me. Don't only listen, read with me. Speak aloud. So we're going to read it together and then I will share or highlight some features. Are you ready? Let's go. The charts show how much a UK school spent on different running costs in three separate years, 1981, 1991 and 2001. That is the overview. Okay, are you ready? Let's look at the next paragraph. In all three years, the greatest expenditure was on staff salaries. While other workers' salaries saw a fall from 28% in 1981 to only 15% of spending in 2001, teachers' pay remained the biggest cost, reaching 50% of total spending in 1991 and ending at 45% in in 2001. All right, so that was some main features. Now we're going to look at some detail. Expenditure on resources such as books had increased to 20% by 1991 before decreasing to only 9% by the end of the period. In contrast, the cost of furniture and equipment experienced an opposite trend. This cost decreased to only 5% of total expenditure in 1991, but rose dramatically in 2001 when it represented 23% of the school budget. Similarly, the cost of insurance saw a rising trend, growing to 8% or four times larger by 2001. And we finally come to the last paragraph, are you still reading and speaking with me? Go. Overall, 
teachers' salaries constituted the largest cost to the school. And while spending increased dramatically for equipment and insurance, there were corresponding drops in expenditure on things such as books and on other workers' salaries. How did you go? Did you speak with me? Now, very quickly, I will show you the most important features of this example. And notice this was 181 words. Perfect. So the first feature I want to highlight is the variety of comparing and contrasting language. We have some EST here. We have ER, more or less, and we have some linking words to show contrast, while and in contrast. Also notice the excellent variety in the use of verbs. Sometimes we have verb followed by a noun phrase, like saw a fall, experienced a trend. So you must be able to do this in IELTS Task 1. In the middle column, notice the excellent past simple consistency because everything in the graph is finished in the past. And finally, you can't always follow verb with noun. You need variety. So you should also follow verb with adverb rose dramatically, increased dramatically, or I'll give you one more example with my voice, fell slightly. So do you use these features? And can you write more than 150 words describing three pie charts? Hopefully now you will get a much better score in IELTS Task 1 or improve your writing for university. Good luck.